Another big race will be tracking tonight the battle for governor in North Carolina. WCNC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is live tonight in Raleigh with a preview. Hey, Alex. Hey, Sarah. Well, the Cooper campaign believes the most important issue of the race is the pandemic, which, of course, is no surprise. And they're confident about how they'll do tonight as the votes come in. Governor Cooper will be privately watching the results come in with his family before making a public appearance in downtown Raleigh. His communications director, Liz Doherty, says the most important issue this election, the pandemic. I think the pandemic has shown a bright light on many existing challenges that people are facing in their day-to-day -day lives, but I do believe that the pandemic is first and foremost. Cooper now looking for a second term after first being elected to governor in 2016 in a close race with the incumbent Pat McCrory. Before that, Cooper was the state's attorney general and held other elected positions. If reelected, Doherty says Cooper plans to continue fighting tirelessly for teachers and also to expand Medicaid. He has been a tireless advocate to expand Medicaid in North Carolina. He's really hoping to be able to do that in his next term. Dan Forrest has served two terms as lieutenant governor after he was first elected in 2012. North Carolina is one of three states where the governor and lieutenant governor are in different political parties. Before he was lieutenant governor, Forrest served 20 years as a business leader. We also reached out to the Forest campaign, but his communications director told us they are not commenting right now, but we will be live here throughout the night and bring you the very latest as the results come in. Live in Raleigh, Alex Shabad, WCNC Charlotte. Alex, thank you.